Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 33rd Annual Home Remodeling and Decorating Show, and I am blessed to be around royalty. Thank you, sir. That's very kind of you. Very, very kind. In fact, uh, my buddies uh, from ZZ Top would love your beard. You know, what's really interesting about that, I was in Palm Springs not too long ago, and I was, let's see, who, who was, I, oh, I can't remember the guy's name, main singer. Dusty? It's one of them? Yeah, I think it was, it was Dusty. He was in Palm Springs. He was in Palm Springs. We were like 20 feet apart from each other. We kept on looking at each or other. Billy Gibbons. Oh, oh, Billy Gibbons. Billy Gibbons. Billy, oh, the lead guitar player and lead lead singer. Yeah. Superstar. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah, the, oh, yeah. Billy Gibbons. There's only one like him in the world. He's also one of the greatest guitar players in the world. Just fantastic. Now, speaking of really good guitar players, here we have to my immediate left, Mr. Van Patten. Oh, I can't play the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, you can't play the guitar. Oh. Oh, then I think, you, I think you're one of the extraordinary guys that, uh, that we were just talking about here. Well, you know what? Years ago, I'm going back 25 years, I used to play poker with a, with a man that was considered the greatest guitar player in the world. He was from Spain. Do you, do you know well, who yeah. that? Yeah, that's it. Yep. I used to play poker with him. <laughs> All right, very he, he good. the greatest. But you play roles very well. Oh, you don't play guitar, but you play roles very well in all the performances that you do. I, I, I've been doing it a long time, yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Well, I, I'm out of my league when we're not talking about gardening, guys. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> but anyway, you guys are here for a couple of very special reasons today. Can you tell us why, why you're here? Oh, well, we, we're here to, oh, to cut the ribbon for the opening of the show. And it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. I'm excited about it. We got a lot of people here, and of course, you have a new product line now, don't you? That is correct. It's called John Paul Pet. So we have Paul Mitchell for hair, our Patron tequila makes you feel good, and for your pet, John Paul Pet. It's a high-end hygiene line for pet with wipes for your eyes and your ears, and brushing your teeth with little wipes, and then exceptional shampoos and conditioners that are made to match a pet's pH. And pets pick out the scent. So it's a little different line. We had all of our pets pick out what scents they like the best. And yeah, we did. And then let's say we took the top three for oatmeal shampoo. Uh, we'd have eight of them or nine of them. And my dog and all of his buddies would sniff what they liked the best. we take the top three. Then I went to John Capra, my president, and said, of these three, you pick the one the humans like the best. So that the dog liked the scent. Yeah, the matches pH, we wouldn't scratch and itch a lot. It turned out really good. So it's doing, it's doing, it's, it's that's a great different. idea. Yeah. <laughs> It's made no, by, pets, by pets. By pets. Uh, literally by pets. So, so therefore, when we're when we're when we're deciding that we need something, as as a matter of fact, we have some four-legged uh, friends over right uh, adjacent to us over here. How do we know which ones to choose for them? It's very, very easy because every single shampoo is already matched to the pet. If the pet is white, we have like a whitening shampoo, a whitening conditioner. If it's overall, we have like oatmeal shampoo, oatmeal conditioner. If they have ear infections or to keep away ear infections, we have wipes for ears that attract all animals' ears. It's the same pH. Same with their eyes, a little buildup on their eyes. And instead of putting them down to brush their teeth, take one of these wipes and it brushes their teeth and gums in a matter of seconds. Yeah, it's a whole different trip for hygiene. You know, you're a little too excited about this, and it's infectious, by the way, isn't it? I, I'm loving this. No, I am excited about it. It's something different. It is, I'm a pet lover for years. We've been supporting pet uh, organizations through Paul Mitchell just for years. And, of course, with Patron Tequila, we do the same thing. So it was kind of natural, as my friends say, to go in the industry, do something different for pets. And I give my entire portion of the profits back to animal rights groups. 100%. Very good. 100%. Now, now, one of the things that, that comes to mind here is that I know that you've been pretty exclusive with how you can get your, your people hair care products. Right. Uh, how about the pet care products? How is that going to be distributed? The real Paul Mitchell is only available in salons. If you find it at a drugstore supermarket, it is counterfeit or black market. However, we started out with John Paul Pet wanting to sell it to veterinarians, right, and specialty stores. Before I knew it, I had beauty salons calling me and saying, JP, half my customers have pet. You know, you, we help bring you to the table. Can't we sell them in the salons? I said, you're kidding. So we tested beauty salons, put up a few displays, and it just flew off the rack. Wow. So it just turned out that we're in uh, high-end pet stores. We are in, of course, with some groomers. We are in with veterinarians and with salons whose customers have a lot of pets. It's amazing. Now, we're really surprised. <laughs> now, both you and I are bearded brothers here, so I'm just, I'm just kind of curious. Do I use the the pet products on my beard or do I use the people pro how do I do that you got a combination of the two you can use some detangler on there but I would just use Paul Mitchell the detangler you know brushes through really easy softens the beard makes it shine <laughs>
Oh, that's great. Well, good. You could use the oatmeal shampoo and conditioner. That'd be pretty cool, too. But I'd, I'd recommend the Detangler by Paul Mitchell. Well, for what it's worth, I get oatmeal in my beard every day for breakfast. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and I recognize it's a little bit different than that. Then I would get the oatmeal shampoo and conditioner. Okay. Run it through. If you smell a little bit, no one will know the difference. <laughs> the shampoo, the oatmeal shampoo. <laughs> Touche. I was just just there no <laughs> well, on behalf of john paul pet we thank you for taking the time to to interview us here you're a, you're a happy guy and you must make everyone happy you interview because you just glow and well I thank you very much gardening you must be a man of the earth well one of these days i'll, I'll give it a give it a turn malibu in the ocean right? yeah, we live, i wish to your house it was a great house yes sir we live most of the time in austin we have a home in malibu and we're here about every three weeks up here in malibu but your house is so impressive yes, sir. You weren't there when I was there, but it was terrific. Now, wait a minute. What's he doing at your house when you're not there? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> a, 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 lot of, a, a lot of charities would let use yeah, the house, you know. Right. Right. Or right. sometimes they'll do interviews like Marjo Gardner and oh, maybe my friend uh, Alan yeah. Thicke want to do something up there. We let him use the house for that. Oh, that's Very nice, nice. yeah. That's nice. Now, Mr. Van Pant, what have you been up to lately? Oh, I just uh, got through shooting a movie called Sarah's Prize, and it's going to be coming out pretty soon. And I've been, I've been very busy, been doing a lot of shows. Now, how's it going with the, the family and the grandkids? And are there grand, grand, great grandkids now? I have not great grandkids. I have grandchildren. Uh -huh. I have three grandsons and three sons. Nice. I can't make girls. Yeah. <laughs> but the grandsons will make granddaughters for you eventually, or the great yeah. ones. Yeah, they will. Oh, I hope so. Okay. Yeah. Well, I get to join your group uh, pretty soon here with being a, a grandfather in about a month. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, you look young to be. Yeah, a well, well, that's what they keep on telling me. Yeah. <laughs> no, very no, it's good. true. Well, that's it's why true. I keep on using the, you know, John Paul Mitchell products in my ah, hair. It keeps yeah, me that yeah. way. Exactly. So that's a real young grandpa. <laughs> yeah. No, being grandpa is cool. I have seven grandchildren. Seven grandkids. Seven grandkids. Wow. Sure, yeah, seven wow. grandkids, and it's cool. From ages two, one, two months old to 19 years old. Wow. So I've got the whole gamut. Now, yeah. you definitely don't look that old. I'm a little older than you guys, but I drink <laughs> no, that I drink no, that Patron tequila, <laughs> put the Paul Mitchell Albi Pui shampoo on my face, you know, and it works out okay. <laughs> oh, very well. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much for stopping by and allowing us to visit with you over here, and much success, and I hope to uh, rub shoulders with you again sometime. All right, very good. I hope so. Peace, love, and happiness to you, brother. Thank you. This is Nick Federoff coming from the 33rd Annual Home Remodeling and Decorating Show at the Los Angeles Convention Center. Come on down. We're going to be here all day Saturday from 10 to 6 and uh, 10 to 8, I'm sorry, and Sundays 10 to 6.